Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this, so make sure to please drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see some all-time highs like I did, make sure to please drop a like in the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, guys, in this one, we are going to be going over AMC and Dark Pool Trading. We're going to be watching an interview of Charles Payne and a Dark Pool Whistleblower explaining exactly what the hedge funds do in regards to Dark Pool Trading and how they cheat the system. With that in mind, I see things like in volume, price action, other ways that are telegraphed that the big insiders are, are using to get the edge and sometimes at the expense of individual investors. But an area I'm not an expert in uh, are the dark pools. But my next guest spent eight years trying to fight this battle alone as he's joining us now, Stephanie Cameraman, also known as the Stock Whisperer. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. First, just tell us what is a dark pool? Hi there, Charles. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, the market is rigged and manipulated by the dark pool. And what it is, is it's this alternative trading system called an ATS, where the big institutions do most of their trades. And why they love to do their trades in this alternative exchange is that they don't have to report one single share until their entire order is completed. So they have three hours even after it's completed to show their hand, to show us their trade. So they love it. Right. And, and, and of course, there's, it can be worse than that because you discovered some loopholes in this dark pool system, including that 24 hour late rule. How does that work? Well, I was informed by a floor trader that um, if Goldman Sachs, we'll just use him, he's one of the biggest institutions out there, if they were to cross their trade from their London desk to their New York desk, they don't have to report this trade for 24 hours. This is huge. I mean, I've spotted them selling massive amounts. We're talking billions of dollars, Charles, at the top without showing their hand for 24 hours. They're literally coming in the next day. You know, this should be illegal, but there's that loophole and they buy the same way. We don't see one single share until 24 hours later. Right. They're literally coming in all day long. Yeah, it's a huge advantage. The, the, a dark, no, of course, the dark pool implies a lack of transparency, obviously. Uh, and, and we know that when, whenever there's a lack of transparency, whenever there's, when, there, when something is opaque, bad things happen. So right now, uh, we hear about fines, right? But they're so minuscule. I mean, people are saying they're a joke. Tell us about some of the fines that have, quote unquote, been leveled against these big firms. Yeah, I'm just going to talk about a couple of them, but, you know, it's ridiculous. So in 2016, Barclays and Credit Suisse, um, they were allowing high frequency traders into their dark pool, which number one, that is so illegal. And then they were letting them front run. OK, this was so bad. They got fined one hundred and fifty four million dollars, which may seem like a lot to you guys but it's nothing. They made billions of dollars. And Goldman Sachs right. got fined in 2011. They were doing price uh, discrepancy in their dark pool. So people were getting filled at really bad prices. And what did they get fined? They got fined like $800,000. They make more right. than that before so, they even have breakfast, Charles. Citadel. I gotta did ask you, you see about the one Citadel. about Citadel? Citadel? Yeah. Let me ask you about Citadel Second Connect. What's going on there? Well, first of all, Citadel got fined $700,000 uh, a little while ago for front running in front of their customers, okay? So now there's these angry investors out there and they have every right to be angry, but they're claiming that Citadel has this uh, exchange called the Citadel Connect, which is supposedly not a dark pool, all right? It's not registered and it's an ETS. And they are claiming that there are trades being done right now, you guys, that are right. not being reported to FINRA. Now, I have right. not done personal research on this, Charles, but if it's happening, I mean, this is disgusting. The SEC needs to do something about this right now if they're, you know, they're not being compliant. If this is really happening, there needs right. to be something done right now. So, 
And in the meantime, no, Stephanie, because we're running out of time, unfortunately, you know, it's TV, but I'm going to bring you back. Uh, listen, the, the, it's not a transparent system. These dark pools are being abused. Uh, and, and the bottom line is this manipulation does hurt investors in stocks like AMC and GameStop. Is that your opinion? Yeah, I mean, there's this short squeeze happening right now, as many of you know. And, you know, they, they really believe that there are trades being done in this other exchange and it's not being reported. So, you know, what can we do, Charles? What can we do? The SEC needs to look into this. We have to expose this. We need to change this. So I'm here today to shed light on the dark pool. And I hope that you invite me back so right. I can shed some more. Just like the whistleblower said, it's no secret that the dark pool trading by the hedge funds is getting out of hand. They're using it to manipulate the market and they're using it for their own benefit. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you guys never miss a video. Also, please drop a like in this video to help spread this around YouTube as much as possible. And lastly, if you guys want to join our private exclusive Discord server, make sure to go down below to my description, the second link down there. But be fast because we are only accepting a few more members. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.